Online Publications Management Lesson 1 Exigency This lesson is brought to you by the Utah State University's online Masters in Technical Communication. I'm Dr. David Haley. I'm Associate Professor of Professional and Technical Communication at Utah State University and I'm the instructor of record for this course. The purpose of this course is to build a website from the very beginning to the very end. Now the very first thing you need to do when you begin thinking about building a website is identify your exigencies. Why do you need to build that website? And that's what exigency means. Exigency is the force or the need that necessitates or demands that you do something. The exigency of war may demand that you fight or that you run. The exigency in this case or the exigencies in this case are threefold. One, I needed a project for the class and so in this particular class we're going to build a website and we're going to start with square one which is right here and we're going to go through until it's a finished website. The second exigency is I learned some skills while doing a project for Sandia National Labs and the skills I would like to see those skills made available. The third exigency is in fact if the federal government contracts anybody to do anything they're required by law to make whatever processes they develop available to the public. And so first I need a project for the class. Second, I would like to see this process preservation disseminated because I think it will be useful. And third, the federal government would like to see this disseminated because they think it might be useful. And so I'll make a website and that website will make process preservation, which is actually the act of capturing and preserving processes for archiving or for safety or for quality control or for just-in-time training. We've all heard of Los Alamos National Labs. Well, Los, Alos, Los Alamos National Labs does the physical package for nuclear weapons. Sandia does the mechanical package. So while uh, Los Alamos would produce the warhead, Sandia would produce the package that carried the warhead and the parachute. And these parachutes are really quite large. They're made of Kevlar ribbon and they're designed to slow something going Mach 1.5 to about 60 miles an hour in uh, a little under two seconds. Now the problem that they ran into is with the peace dividend they weren't needing to make these parachutes anymore uh, and moreover they're uh, the one person who knew how to rig these parachutes put them together was retiring and so they hired me to archive the process for putting together one of these parachutes well, the parachutes range in size from 30 feet to 45 feet and take one person a week or may take two people two weeks, depending on how complicated they are, and will take more than 2,500 steps. So the process is fairly straightforward, but it's step by step by step, and every step has to be perfect. Well, I developed a technique or a technology or a combination technique and technology to capture those processes and put them in an archive so that if Sandia National Labs has to pull them out at some time in the future, they can do it. Well, those processes are applicable and that's one of the issues. The first exigency is Whenever you have a federal contract and you develop a new technology, even if it's a small technology, you have to make it publicly available. The second exigency is 
I have this information and I would like to see it become publicly available. Now, it's not amazing uh, technology. It's really str pretty straightforward. It's just a series of steps. But it, uh, it's the difference between YouTube quality to professional. And so this website that we will be developing for this class will present process preservation as its subject and it will make it publicly available to anybody who wants to track down the website. So that's the class and that's the exigency for the class.